Assalamu alaikum students this is Farwa Batool your O level computer science instructor and welcome to my channel learn to teach in this video we are going to see the flow chart example in the previous video we have seen what are flow charts and what are the flow chart symbols that we can use in order to make a flow chart of any algorithm now in this video i'm going to show you a simple flow chart example that will help you to make a flow chart of any program Okay, I'm taking the same example that is discussed in your book, checking for the alarm time, because this is a uh, very simple. And in order to start, we have to just use a simple example, and then we gradually move towards the complex example. Okay, so this is one of the example that I have already discussed in structure diagrams that how to make a structure diagram for alarm application. Now, same example is going to be used here in flowchart. Now, this is basically one part of that alarm application. We had three subsystems in alarm application that was set time and then check time and sound alarm. Now, I'm only going to use the second subsystem that was checking for the alarm time in this flowchart example. So, let me just explain you that how this subsystem works and then we will move towards the diagram. Checking for the alarm time means let's suppose you have set an alarm. Let's take a time, 7 a.m. in the morning. Now, what will you do? Your alarm application is going to compare that alarm time with the system time. The system time is basically the device time that you are using and this system time is continuously changing. So, what you have to do? You have to call a function that is get time. It is already defined somewhere. A get time function helps us to take the system time. And then once you take it, you can compare it with the alarm time inside your alarm application. And after comparing the, both the times, you will get a yes or no answer. Either the time is equal, alarm time equals to system time, either it is a no, it is not equal. So you have to take uh, the decision on the basis of yes and no. So, if it is a yes, then you will produce sound alarm. You will produce a sound or you can move towards another subsystem that is the sound alarm subsystem. And if it is a no, then you have to call the get time function again after waiting for some seconds. Now, I hope that this is quite understandable. Now, we will move towards the flowchart diagram in order to make it more clear to you. In the previous video, I have already shown all the flowchart symbols that we can use to make flowchart of any program. At the beginning, at, at the end of every flowchart, we use a terminator flowchart symbol that is just a rectangle with round corners. And if it is a start of your flowchart, just write down a start inside this particular shape. Okay, next we have after starting it, we will call a function that is get time function. Remember that if the process is already defined somewhere and you are just using it, then you will make a rectangle. This is a process flowchart symbol and you will make two lines like this. This is what we call a process that is already defined somewhere and you are just using it in order to complete your task. So this is a get time function that will help you to take the system time. And once the system time is taken, what you will do next, you will compare your alarm time with the system time. Since we have to compare and there will be two answers, yes or no, so it is a decision flowchart symbol that we will use. Remember that whenever you have to take decision and there are two answers for any statement that you are comparing, use this kind of flowchart symbol, a diamond shaped. Now what you will do, just write down time, that is the system time equals to alarm time that you have set. You need to compare the time that you have taken from get time function when you call the get time function you have taken the system time and then you will compare the system time with the alarm time okay now since it can have a no 
or it can have a yes two answers if the time is not equal to the alarm time let's suppose right now it is 2 o'clock 2 a.m and the alarm time is 7 a.m so it will be a no when it compares both the times it will say no so what you have to do you have to wait for some seconds so the time will change let's suppose we will wait for 30 seconds so just write down make a process flowchart symbol because it's an action and every time when you are working or you are uh, using a kind of action so you will be making a process flowchart symbol just write down wait 30 seconds after waiting for 30 seconds if the time changes we have to just take the system time again just make a flow line like this and go to the get time again so you can have the system time and then you will compare the system time with the alarm time every time that it changes or after every 30 seconds okay this is when the answer is no but if the answer is yes, let's suppose the system time is 7 a.m. and the alarm time that you already set was also 7 a.m. So it will be a yes. So remember that when the, both the times becomes equal, so you will be moving towards the other subsystem that is the sound alarm system. Since it is going to be another action, so I'm using a process flowchart symbol, sound alarm. And after that, you have to end your task here, or this is end of your algorithm. So you will be using the terminator flowchart symbol, which is the rectangle, but with round corners. Just write down stop to indicate the end of your program. So this is all about checking for the alarm time subsystem. This is how we represented it in terms of a flowchart. Thank you so much for watching this video. In the next video, we will be looking at another complex example of flowcharts. Thank you. Stay tuned and do not forget to subscribe. Bye-bye.